Now, this is a very interesting article up here uh, that was published in Dermatologic Surgery, uh, and it was looking at the use of bacteriostatic saline for the reversal of Botox about a week to two weeks after injection if a patient is experiencing something called brow ptosis, which is basically means you injected too much Botox into your frontalis or forehead muscle, and now your brows are lowered, giving you a mean, angry, kind of heavy look. In women especially, this is no bueno. Bacteriostatic saline, we're not exactly sure why it can be helpful, but they found in this subset of patients, almost all of them reversed. The thought is that bacteriostatic saline has a chemical in it called benzyl alcohol. This may exert its effect on the nerve synapse between the nerve and the muscle, causing maybe increased permeability or changing the uh, concentration of salt in the area, uh, affecting how synapses can go through the to the muscle. You can see in the photos over here, initially uh, there's a lot of movement. They injected with Botox. There's less movement, almost no movement. Maybe uh, the brows are a little bit heavy. Then they injected bacteriostatic saline on just one side of the face. And then below it, you can see that the movement is starting to come out a few days after injecting bacteriostatic saline. This begs the question, if it can be used for the forehead, of course, more research is needed, then where else can it be used for inappropriately placed Botox or trying to reverse Botox uh, for an unwanted side effect? Let me know if you have any questions about this. This is really cool. Something I've learned. Uh, this was published only about a year ago, so it's amazing that I haven't heard about it yet. But let me know your thoughts.